Hi, I'm Louise Steele. This is a run-through for the lab work for the materials uh, lab for the standard proctor test. We'll be running through the lab work and you can catch the calculations later on. For your testing, the first thing you want to do is put the label on it. Okay, this is a really long lab, so the intent, in the interest of getting it going quickly, start with uh, two or three people in your lab group uh, getting the soil and um, breaking it down into appropriate oh. size. Okay, we're going to be using the trays from the concrete test to do our work to keep the soil all in one place. Okay, you'll need a number four sieve. This is a uh, 4.75 millimeter sieve that you will be putting the soil through. Take a plastic bin. Now for, you'll want to take, oh, we'll wait. Okay, you'll want to take the mass of the plastic bin for your calculations. This is not a part of the calculations you need to do for the test. So you can record this on the back of your paper or on a piece of scrap paper. We are going to need approximately three kilograms of dry soil. This is the soil we'll be using. In the real world, the sample will be brought in and dried overnight in the oven. We'll take the mass of that as it's ready. Need a hammer to break this up. that are small enough to go through one of the four sieves. So this is what you are going to decide you'll be working towards. either on the counter or on the floor. So you can see this is going to take a bit of time. You need three kilograms of that. So while one person, one or two people are doing this, you can have other members of your group pull together your other equipment. While one group member is doing the soil, someone else can get the other equipment. This is the standard proctor mold. You have a base, a the mold itself, and the upper collar. You'll also need a stiff straight edge. This is uh, not just an ordinary ruler, it's very hard in the end. You'll also need some small moisture content tins. You'll need four or five of these. Take a small container to put them in so that when they're drying in the oven, they'll stay together. Okay, take the mold, and you're going to be removing the top collar. Leave the wing nuts on. Take the mass of the mold and the base. and record this on your sheet. You'll be recording this in the upper section. 
where it says the mass of the mold. You'll be using the same mold for the uh, for all of your tests, so you can write the mass in on all of the squares for mass of mold in grams. Okay, now take your moisture content tins, record the number of the tin, and record it on the lower grid. Uh, where it uh, says moisture content and container number. Container number is M64. Okay, take the mass and record the mass for each of the four or five tins that you will be using. The mass is 17.1 grams. Okay, meanwhile, the grit rubbers have continued to break the soil up. Small enough to go to the number 200 south. Sorry, the number four sieve. Until you have approximately three kilograms of soil. That's about three kilograms. So we want, now we want to find out our exact mass in here. So we'll take the mass, 345.2.7. and subtract the mass of the plastic bin. Again, I'm working on the back of the sheet because these calculations are not part of our actual um, calculations for the um, moisture density test. I've taken the mass of the soil and the bin. I'm subtracting the mass of the plastic bin. I ended up with uh, 3 kilograms, 277. Take 5% of the mass of your soil, so multiply the mass of the soil by 0 0.05. Rounding to within a gram is adequate. So we need... 164 grams of water. Take a beaker. And this is our easiest way to get this. There we go. That's close enough. Spread the water evenly over the soil so it's all mixed in together. Stop this, this is well mixed in. We're going to be using in. So you turn all of your dry soil that you're not using into the bin here with the got soil in the first place. Okay. We're going to take the mold, and you've already taken the mass of the mold. We're going to be filling it up to approximately a third but your soil is going to be compacted down, so you'll need to fill it up a little more. We start with the collar on. Just needs to be tightened down so it's secure. 